was catcalled today for the first time in my entire life. Yeah, thank you. Give it up for me, I guess. No, thank you. I was so flattered at the moment, guys. I was like, oh my God, is he yelling at me right now? I was pumping my gas, and uh, I turned around, and I was like, what's going on? I'm getting catcalled. And then he said what I did not want to hear next. He goes, hey, you Michael Rappaport-looking motherfucker. <laughs> you guys think I look like Michael Rappaport? <laughs> oh my God, I guess so. I was like, next time at least catcall me for something good. Like, hey, guy who looks like he's got his life together. But no, it's Michael Rappaport-looking motherfucker. <laughs> Very sad. Guys, uh, today I had something crazy pop up. Me and my girlfriend were sitting on the couch and I was going through an old hard drive, and there was a folder labeled nudes. And I was like, oh shit, I am going to be in the doghouse today. Uh, and my girlfriend looks at this folder and she goes, my God, how did you get so many dirty pictures? You don't look like a guy girls send dirty pictures to. And I was like, it's because I'm a Michael Rappaport looking motherfucker. It's definitely that. And then we got debating, like, how long do I get to keep dirty pictures? I'm asking you guys right now, because our numbers were completely different. Forever, right? Who else? Does anyone have a number different than forever? I have a number different. What is it? I think you should have deleted them when you started dating your girlfriend seriously. Okay. <laughs> That's where we differ. <laughs> we did a big time. She said, they're one and done like a condom. And I was like, who uses a condom just once? <laughs> uh, and then we came to, like, we had a resolution, though. It was this. She said, you could keep all your dirty pictures as long as you Marie Kondo them. We're going to we're gonna go through each one of these right now and see what sparks you joy still. I had to go through all my dirty pictures with my girlfriend sitting next to me, like, this one definitely doesn't spark me joy anymore. <laughs> this one definitely doesn't spark me joy anymore. The thing about Marie Kondo, I don't know if you guys know about her, uh, you can't just throw something away. You have to say thank you and goodbye to it. <laughs> you know how sad it is saying thank you and goodbye to a picture of a girl masturbating in front of a Nickelback poster? <laughs> it was awful. Uh, guys, I have a girlfriend. We just hit our one year anniversary, so I don't have to be on dating apps anymore. Yeah. yeah. We met the old-fashioned way. I untied her from a train track. <laughs> I untied her from a train track. I love my girlfriend very much. There's one thing I hate about her, and that she cuddles like a professional wrestler. <laughs> I wake up every single morning in a chokehold, and I gotta, like, get a referee and have to get out of it. <laughs> the other day, I was like, babe, how did you sleep last night? And she said, it doesn't matter how I slept last night, jabroni. <laughs> I was like, damn, babe, you woke up on the wrong side of the wrestling <laughs> she did not like that whatsoever. I made her breakfast to apologize, and she wouldn't eat it. And I was like, babe, what's the matter? You hardly snapped into your Slim Jim. <laughs> that joke is for the four 80s wrestling fans in there. So. Yeah, she hates when I tell that joke. She's like, stop telling people I sound like that. And then she body slams me through the bed. <laughs> Guys, we've gone through 14 Ikea mattresses just this week. It's kind of miserable, but I love her very much. Uh, we've been talking about having kids lately. Uh, yeah, I'm 39, she's 35. Did you guys know that having a baby that late is called geriatric pregnancy? Yes. Yeah, I hate that. Like, that makes it sound like we're going to give offspring to an old man, right? <laughs> like, I'm going to be pushing him in, my str in his stroller while I'm with my walker. <laughs> I am getting a little baby crazy. I know this because we were on vacation recently. I heard a baby crying and my nipples started lactating. <laughs> I was like, oh boy. <laughs> I had to step my game up. Like the other day, I peed on a pregnancy test and I left it by the toilet and I was like, figure that one out, baby. She's like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> None of you guys do either. I did step my game up even one more notch. I started poking holes in her birth control pills. Birth control pills. It's a joke. It's <laughs> so very sorry. Guys, I do have a baby now. It's my little doggy. Anyone else dog parents here? Thank you. We, we love our doggies, right? My dog is sick right now. He won't take his medicine, though. And we have to call the vet and be like, how do we get him to take his medicine? And the vet goes, this is what you got to do. You got to crush it up and you got to smear it on his lips. 
I'm like, fuck, now I got a little cokehead dog. <laughs> It was really cute at first. Like, he was like, let's go to the park. Let's do fun shit. Let's go to the park. And now it's weird because he's obsessed with crypto and growing one very long paw nail. I hate it. Guys, my name is Ronnie Pascal. Keep it going for your host. All right, Ronnie. Okay, 